time to pause now to look at our mental health and well-being in Mind Matters with Dr. Sean. And tonight we're hearing from an inspiring young man who's using his experiences to help others. Alexis Court is a podcast host and the author of Queer Up, a guide to LGBTQ plus love, life and mental health. He's also training as a psychotherapist and since the start of the pandemic has been volunteering for the mental health charity Shout on their tech support line. He's been praised by the Duchess of Cambridge for his work supporting young people. And when I spoke to him earlier, I asked him what motivated him to volunteer in the first place. I think like a lot of people, I've been very aware over the last few years of this growing conversation around mental health. And we've seen in the press about the enormous increase in wait times to get therapeutic support to the NHS, which before the pandemic was about six months. Post pandemic is now 18 months or two years. Yeah. That's a long time and a lot of people don't have that long to wait and need someone immediately. And so rather than just sitting there thinking this news is awful, I wanted to jump in and try and do something I could to help. And volunteering for Shout was a really tangible way of contributing to this big topic, which affects all of our lives. It does. And, and Shout is a text-based service. So what did yeah. you find people were texting in about? Were there common themes? So at Shout 85258, we say that we're a crisis line. Um, but actually, it's whatever a crisis means to them as an individual who gets in touch. So whether that is someone who has been really stressed about isolation, whether that's someone worried about a relationship, whether that is suicidal thoughts, someone's going to be stressed around job. Actually, we see a lot of young people getting in touch with concerns around school, around bullying, around harassment. Really interestingly, one third of our texters identify as LGBTQ+. And so we've got a lot of conversations which come there to the societal and systemic effects of homophobia, of hate crimes, uh, concerns around that. Mm -hmm. And if we look at our younger Texas, that's Texas who are under the age of 21, actually almost 50% of people who get in touch with us from that age demographic below the age of 21, almost 50% of them are LGBTQ+. So there are huge issues going on there. And it's something that... I really wanted to be able to support him because it's something I could massively understand. Huge issues, but also quite complex issues about identity and sexuality and gender. And did you find that quite difficult? I mean, you're training to be a, a psychotherapist, doing it over text message. How was that for you? Training to do it over text was very different. At first, I think like a lot of people, I thought, oh, is this going to be very personal? Is it going to be a bit cold? But actually, there's a real power to text, which allows people to actually be freer with their communication. A, no one can overhear you texting. Sometimes when you're scared about what you're talking about, or when you're not used to talking about what you're talking about, actually writing it down, it feels a lot safer. And so the fact that people can text wherever they are, no one can overhear them, no one else can um, see what that conversation is, actually allows them to be a lot freer. And so we can actually really build bonds over text, especially when we are dealing with younger people who are used to written and texting communication. That's their main form of communication. So for to them, it's nothing different. Alexis, you say a lot of these issues resonated with you personally. How difficult is it for you to hold your own stuff back when you're communicating with people? I mean, my stuff always feels secondary and not there in the conversation because it's a huge privilege to have people trust us and reach out to the service. And even if we don't have all of the answers, actually, there was somebody there for them. And so we've done our job just by being there. And when you understand that, actually, it's really, really freeing. And helping other people massively helps yourself. It makes you feel more in control. It makes you feel more confident in yourself. It gives you a good buzz. It's actually scientifically proven to make us all feel better as well. It connects us to a cause. It makes us feel like we are doing something. And I can remember being that questioning and quite scared 12, 13, 14 year old whose emotions, whose body were all changing. And I didn't know where I sat into the world. I don't, didn't quite feel comfortable going to the adults in my life or to my friends because, well, then it would force me into a position where I had to answer them. Well, 
Do you think that's your sexuality? Do you think that's your gender identity? I didn't know. So actually, by them not seeing us, it gives them a bit of freedom to do that. All right. Alexis, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Alexis Court speaking to me there. And the Shout Tech service, staffed by volunteers like Alexis, is open 24-7. The number is 85258. It's on your screen now. If you'd like more information or perhaps you want to volunteer yourself, he says it's a great thing to do. Do it if you can. Visit their website. That's giveusashout.org.